Hello everyone, I hope everyone is safe and doing good. Welcome back to my channel, Trick or Treat with Mathematics. This video is the last video of Binomial Theorem playlist. So we will be covering binomial series and a few problems on approximations. So if you haven't watched my previous videos on Binomial Theorem yet, I will link it up here so that you can watch all the videos in sequence in the playlist. So without wasting any more time, now let's jump right into the video. Now let's start by understanding what is a binomial series. Binomial series is the most important and frequently used series in many applications involving algebra. It looks like something like this. 1 plus px plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial x square plus p into p minus 1 to p minus 2 by 3 factorial x cube plus and so on up to infinity. This is the expansion 1 plus x whole power of p. Okay. Ever wonder how did we get binomial theorem? If you put p here as the power here as the positive integer then this binomial series will become binomial theorem. We get what pc1 into x to power of 1 x to power of 1 yes plus pc2 into x square plus pc3 into x cube plus and so on plus pcp into x to the power of p. So if you put p as positive integer in this then you are getting a binomial expansion but with binomial theorem we can't find the expansion when t is negative integer or a fraction that is the reason why we always stick with binomial series this is binomial series okay whenever p is a positive integer we can directly apply binomial theorem we can apply binomial series even when p is positive only because we are getting the same value however whenever p is negative or fraction we will apply binomial series okay there are a certain observations that you need to know first this binomial series should be of the form 1 plus x whole power of whatever power it is and this series will converge at mod x less than 1 that means x should range between minus 1 less than x less than 1. It is mathematically proven that this series is valid when x is less than unity. So in that case, whenever we have, say in the question, if they ask you to find the expansion of this when p is say some minus 1. So that means you need to find the expansion of this. How do you do is, you will take a outside and then convert this a to unity and then apply binomial series on this. That is what you do. Okay. The second observation is, if you see the binomial series here is infinite, whereas the binomial theorem is finite. Ever wonder why? The reason being, how do you calculate the number of terms in binomial theorem? p plus 1. Right. And if the number of terms are p plus 1, that means you are able to count the number of terms here, right? Right. So, can we not call this as finite? Yes. And that means this series is terminating because we, the series has an end binomial theorem when p is positive has an end or binomial series when p is positive has an end whereas binomial series when p is negative or a fraction will you be able to count the number of terms no 
that is the reason why the binomial series leads to infinity that means it's not terminating or it is infinite one more important observation is that here for all the positive powers we can express them in the form of binomial coefficients and if you expand this also you will be getting this only pc1 is nothing but p right pc2 is this one only isn't it however do you think you can you can represent the negative powers minus p or minus p or minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 in the form of binomial coefficients no that is the reason we have written it like this because we can't represent negative numbers of fractions in the form of binomial coefficients okay so this is the difference between binomial series and binomial theorem this is what you need to understand in order to decide whether you need to apply binomial series or binomial theorem but let me tell you if at all we have this value of x and we by definition we've shown that mod x should be less than 1 so if you have the value of x as less than 1 even though the power is positive it is always better for you to apply binomial series because anyways we end up getting the same right as binomial theorem but it will be better for you to apply binomial series and approximate that value to whatever position or whatever place they want us to stop that means for example if we want to find or approximate the value of 1 1.05 or 06 whole power of 9 we can't write the entire expansion then add right rather we choose to approximate it and that approximation for that approximation we can use binomial series and then approximate okay now let's see how to do that so here we need to find to four places of the decimal value of this so we use binomial series to find the approximate value of 1.0 to whole power of 8 up to four places what they are asking you to find 1.0 to whole power of 8 how do we write this can we not write this as 1.0.0 to whole power of 8 1 plus 0, 0.0 to whole power of 8 and now this again in the form of 1 plus x whole power of n right we can apply binomial series on this in order to get the approximate value of 1.02 whole power of 8. Let's apply binomial series in this. So that will get an approximated value. So again, what we'll do? 1 plus nx. So what first let's try the binomial series. Plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factor into x cube. We wanted only up to 4 decimal places. So we took 4 terms here. So what do we get? 1 plus 8 into 0 0.02 plus 8 into 7 by 2 factorial 0 0.02 whole square and then 8 into 7 into 6 by 3 factorial 0 0.02 whole cube okay so now how do we write this 1 plus 0 0.16 plus we get 28 into 0 0.0004 plus 56 into 0 0.00008 right now if you multiply you'll get okay now if you add all these you'll get the approximate value of 1.02 whole power of 8 that is 1.716 this is how you apply binomial series to get the approximation up to four places okay now let's see another problem so in next problem we need to ev evaluate 29 whole power of 1 by 3 to the nearest 100 how do we do this using binomial series so how do you write 29 whole power of 1 by 3 can we not write this as 27 plus 2 whole power of 1 by 3 yes now can we not write this as 27 you get outside why did we take 27 because we can directly get the cube root of 27 and then say 1 by 
वन प्लस टू बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन पावर वन बाई थ्री सो दिस विल बी नथिंग बट थ्री सो दिस विल बी थ्री इंटू टू बाई ट्वेंटी वन प्लस टू बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन होल पावर ऑफ वन बाई थ्री नाउ दिस इज इन ए फॉर्म ऑफ बाई नॉर्मल सीरीज नो वॉट विल डू विल एक्सपैंड सो वी गेट वन प्लस वन बाई थ्री इंटू टू बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस वन बाई थ्री एन इंटू एन माइनस वन बाई टू फैक्टोरियल इंटू टू बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन होल स्क्वायर प्लस एंड सो ऑन राइट सो नो वॉट विल गेट we get 1 plus 2 by 81 plus he will get minus here minus minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 27 whole square plus and so on right so this will be nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 0.0247 minus 0.0006 and so on approximately we'll get 1.0212 Okay, approximately we get the value as one point zero two one two, and this, if you remember, we have three outside into three, so the answer is three point zero six three six. So this is the value that you get after you simplify, and we've asked the value to the nearest hundred. So what do we get? Zero point six. 0636 to the nearest hundred can be 0.37. So the answer to this question is 3.07. Okay. So this is how you find approximations using binomial series. All right. If you have any questions or any other problems that you want me to solve, please drop a comment below so that I'll be able to help.